welcome to the vlog. We are starting the vlog in the car. Woo! Woo! Hello, it is Sunday. Good morning. Did daylight savings end today or did it start today? Uh, I guess. Well, I mean, it just went forward one. But I, there is a start and there's an end. All I know is spring forward, fall back, meaning we lost an hour tonight, or this morning rather, and it hit me like a truck. I was so tired this morning, but we were in a very bumpy car ride. And we're heading out for the day. We are actually going to go make a delivery at my mom's house. But on the way there, we're gonna go pick up Ollie, and then we're gonna stop and get some Korean barbecue on the way. I wanna go get some little treats and things for my parents. And then we're gonna go to my parents' house. So that is the agenda. Sorry, I should have started it at home before we got on the rocky freeway, but. I brought my laptop because I'm gonna edit in the car and I will see you guys along the way. Goodbye. Hey. Remy's biggest fan is here. Oh my God, you do love your merch, I have to say. I really often make merch with you in mind because I need it's for someone that can wear it every day. <laughs> Hello all, we have arrived at Gangnam Station. It's a little and cute. Which is the, thank you, the Korean barbecue place that we came recently with my grandma. So yes, we are gonna go eat because the last time we had lunch here it was so good. And we're next to the source, which you guys know we love the source. I'm gonna get Ani some my arm on macarons. <laughs> I know, I love it. Okay, let's go eat. Gangnam. Um, station. We're at the one in Buena Park. <gasps> Who's that sexy man? You know it's gonna be good when they've got boxes of shin noodles and they've got soju. We're here. We just got sat. There's like a self-serve area over there and then mother all of their arrived. mother has arrived. All of their little panchan are so good. All right, round one. We got pork belly. What kind of pork belly did you get, Cal? The regular and the spicy. Spicy and regular pork belly. We got wagyu brisket and Ollie's favorite, uh, corn cheese. I'm alive. The best kalbi and I got butter garlic prawns. Are you kidding me? Lunch was amazing. We've made it to the source and we're going to go to Cosmetic World and we are getting my dad and mom macarons and some for me as well and it's very bright oh my god <gasps> we just walked by this bakery and i'm gonna get a coffee and some bread because it smells so good they have like a school next door that they teach you how to make a bunch of different breads and things a coffee okay we got a sourdough basket look at this you can learn how to do the banana mold this is so cute a cannelle oh my god i wonder if they have a cannelle here i want one <gasps> look at these cakes ollie oh my god this cheesecake oh my god look at the little the momo Oh, it's a momo cake. There's handmade mochi, but there's red bean on the inside. I don't like red bean. But it looks good. There's no oh. zoom on that guy. <laughs> red velvet scone. I love a pastry. <laughs> All right, we got some little pastries and an iced caramel latte, and it's so good. Uh, it's a taste test. Of the desserts? Yes. Okay, I'll do a taste test later. You want to be in it? Yes. <laughs> also, shout out to Eunice. Thank you, Eunice. We met a fun subscriber in there. Okay. We have come to Cosmetic World. So, Mazelle. Mazelle, Mazelle. Ollie's getting his little... Um, Everything. Medi Heel. Is it Medi Heel? Or no, what's the brand? Goodall. Goodall toner pads. Yes. I've been obsessed with this blush, as you guys know. It slides slowly from, I think it was called Style Nanda. And so I was looking at the other shades. They're all so pretty. Oh, we've got some other things up here too. <gasps> There's a highlighter. I really, really love the blush that I got. I think I only, ooh, this is pretty too. Look at this eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, that eyeshadow palette is so me. Oh my God, these like ombre blushes. If you've been watching YouTube or just remember Remember Mac Cosmetics back in the day? Do we remember the ombre blushes they used to have? Everything's just so pretty. Multi mood. Ooh. I'm just observing. I'm not gonna buy anything, but oh, I'm obsessed with this dog one with the dolphin. I just kind of like thin they are. Hi, babe. You getting some skincare too? Yeah. Let's get a haul. Oh, you're also getting some of this good all and a yeah. toner. Toner. Oh, a dark circle cream. Dark circle cream. Come on, skincare. Really Come on, skincare. We're stopping by the Hello Kitty booth, obviously. Oh my god, you guys. I met so many fun, nice subscribers. So, so many beautiful subscribers. Big shout out to Irene. She's so sweet. She's a mom. And we walked and she was like, Remy. And I was like, oh, hello. Shout out to everybody. But she was just so sweet. And now we've got all these cute little things, little like keychains. I'm just checking them out. Oh my God, little sticker. So cute. And then one birthday cake and one blueberry, please. I'm going to do the strawberry tongue hulu, guys. Look how good these strawberries look today. We're loading up Susan Ani. That was so fun. As you guys know, I love the source and I feel like I've vlogged it so many times now. Whenever we meet people, I meet like so many of you guys there and everyone's like, I was hoping I'd see you today. I love that it's become the new meet and greet spot. So if you guys go to the source, look for me because most likely I'm there. We can't stop talking about Irene though. <laughs> 
Irene, we, we love you. loved her. She just made us feel so safe. Irene, and just comment on this video. Irene, please comment and let us know that you're here because we love you. Okay, I got, I think, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 macarons for myself. Or no, I Freudian slip for my parents. I did get quite a few for us though. I pretty much got just as many for us. They last really well in the fridge and I will be eating these. Cal will be eating these. And then also, now that I can openly talk about the new podcast, the other night when we recorded, Zane was telling me how he has such a sweet tooth and his favorite thing is buttercream. And I was like, oh, I know what you mean. Like when the buttery cream like coats the mouth, you get, you get that like creamy mouth mm -hmm. feeling. It's, it's like eating regular creamy butter. Mouth. Creamy, creamy mouth feel. And these have the best buttercream. So I got a bunch to share with him too, even though he might be mad that I did that because I know he is on his health grind and sorry, but not sorry. I got myself a strawberry tonghulu because these are insanely huge. You guys know I love them. <gasps> Should I make a TikTok of crunching? God, this one's so good. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh my goodness. Hello. Just flocked to me. We have come to the cruise residence. Ani's outside. Oh, you got a ladder. <laughs> I didn't know you were gonna get a ladder. <laughs> I said, hey, do you have any lemons from your tree? Okay. They got thorns, remember? Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, they got thorns. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, you're so cute. He's putting them in a basket. Oh, looks no, it's gorgeous. It's so rustic. There Thorn. I don't need that many. <laughs> we'll give it to you. I'll share them with friends yeah, though. We'll Thank you. you. Fun fact, we got this lemon tree when I was probably what, like, Ten? You know that one picture where you're standing on the waterfall? Yeah. Remember, like, I know, and now all these trees are here. I'm sure you guys can relate. If you look at like baby photos of <laughs> your childhood house and seeing all the foliage, like everything looks the same, but all the foliage is just huge now before they were this big. I remember when we put this lemon tree in and it was like a little twig, like a twig. And now it's a huge bountiful lemon tree. You know you're at the cruise residence when there is winter candy apple. Hello guys, okay, I am back home. I've been home for a little while. I'm currently home alone. Well, I'm not home alone, I'm with the dogs. I am the only human here in the building right now because it is Oscars Sunday. So Cal went to his friend's house to go watch that. I was invited, but I decided to stay home because I have a lot of work stuff to catch up on. I got one vlog edited in the car ride there and back from lunch and all the activities. But then I started to get a little car sick. So I didn't get as much done as I wanted to get done. So I have a couple vlogs that I need to edit tonight and I'm gonna focus on those because I want to get all the vlogs done for this week. I also wanna catch up on vlogs. I'm a little bit delayed right now just because of all the travel that's been happening. I'm home for good though, and I want to get back to my routine and back to uploading on schedule and everything like that. So in order to do that, I need to make sure I am on time with my editing. So yes, I'm gonna edit a bunch tonight. I just took a shower. I'm wearing my pajamas from Birdie Gray that I got from Lauren's Bachelorette, which are just so comfy. I washed my hair. I've got this little headband in. Ow. Also, I just have to say, I know these headbands are super viral and I've tried a couple of them. I liked it, but I didn't love it because I felt like it was always slipping through my hair. If you also have Asian hair or just like a really like slippery kind of like, not greasy. I mean, sometimes my hair is greasy, but Asian hair has like a slick to it. So I put it in and it would just like slip right out. I got these ones that I really like because there's teeth on the inside. So it really stays nice and secure in my head like so. I got a two pack, I'll link them down below for you guys. My hair is all nice and clean. I did a little hair mask in it and then I added in some treatment to help with the growth. I did all my nighttime skincare already and it's only uh, 7 p.m. You know what, I'm gonna try one of these treats that I got. I shared some of these with my dad and then I also already ate one of the macarons I had the cookies and cream, so good. All right, for choices, I think this one was like a cookies and cream bread or something like that. I already had cookies and cream today, so I'll try this one instead. This is the strawberries and cream scone, which looks fantastic. I gave my dad the red velvet one and the Madeline, which I'm gonna be honest, I kind of regret, but I hope he enjoys. Ooh, it's kind of like wet. Very dense, it smells good. Really good strawberry flavor. A little dry, I will say. But I think scones are normally supposed to be like pretty dry. They're very dense and very dry. I will have this tomorrow though with some coffee. That would be so delicious in the morning. Little taste test. I still need to have like regular dinner and I can't decide what I wanna have. I have two different kinds of leftovers. I have goryeom tang, which I made a long time ago, which is Korean oxtail soup that's been in the freezer that I was thinking of having tonight. Or I have some Japanese leftovers, which I might have tonight too, or maybe tomorrow. I'm kind of feeling the soup tonight because it's cold outside. Actually, I take it back. That scone was 
was delicious. Like I wanna eat more right now. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm just rambling. Let me uh, get to editing. I'll probably turn the Oscars on, watch like the end little bits and I'll keep you posted on what I do for dinner. All the dogs just like staring at me right now. Hello, okay, I keep putting the vlog camera there to get like an angle of the kitchen, but I think this light adds like a little flare. Is that okay? Let me get a little light for you guys. Maybe it'll look better. Okay, I got my little Alex Earl light. Is that better? Oh, that's so much better. Let's go quality. Okay, actually, is that much better? I don't know. I edited a vlog. It's now 9 p.m. Sometimes editing takes me two minutes. Sometimes it takes me hours. I am now going to cook up my dinner. This soup is great because it's very gelatinous, if you can see, like there's a lot of collagen in it. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Oh, it tastes amazing, wow, that tastes great. I do wish I had some kimchi. I kind of think I should go to the Korean grocery store tomorrow because there's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to get. Mmm, so good. We'll let that heat up. Wow, that's delicious. All right, we'll let this come to a boil and I'll check in when it's all nice and hot again. <laughs> the soup is hot, should not have grabbed that. Oh my God, it's so hot. Did you eat dinner? What'd you bring yeah, back? The frozen coffee that Campbell meant to give me for, I think, Christmas. Oh, wow. And um, some leftovers for you. <gasps> leftovers? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, now I gotta do a taste test. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, here's my soup. It seemed to have reheated well. Let's try the radish. Oh, no. Radish is very gummy and disintegrated. I think it could use fresh radish for sure. This soup is super laborious to make. It takes like eight to 10 hours, 12 hours maybe. So you might as well make a big batch and then heat it up on a cold night like tonight. But now more importantly, we must try all of this food that Cal brought me home. Wait, babe, do you have like a, the menu? I have to tell them all the cute names. Oh, hang on. Let me see. Oh my god. You should have a text from their text box. Okay, I'll look. As I told you guys, Cal went to his friend's Oscars party and they're so cute. They made all this food. We've got falafel, anatomy of a falafel, falafel with tahini sauce, American fiction, my pathology, spinach puffs with bacon and feta. I think that's this one. How cute. Mmm. Even cold. That's delicious. Oh, that's so good. Let me try the falafel. Oh, hell yeah. That's so good. For past lives, they have bulgogi kimbap. That's so cute. Oh my God, they, I think they made this. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, yum. For killers of the flower moon, we have Osage cauliflower moons, which is pan caramelized cauliflower with crispy sage leaves, hazelnuts, and Parmesan. That's so cute. I gotta try this cauliflower with the Parmesan. That looks delish. Mm. Oh my God, whoa, that's amazing. That might be my favorite thing yet. For Barbie, we have barbecue sliders, pulled pork, and sweet heat barbecue sauce with pickles on a Hawaiian roll. Those might be gone because I don't see any here, but sounds delish. And then for poor things, there's poor wings, crispy boneless wings topped in peri peri sauce, which I also don't think I have. There's some like chocolatey situation right here. Tiramisu, mm. and it looks like we have a cranberry brie puff pastry, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. I love anything with puff pastry. I love anything with cranberry, but I think the cauliflower might've been my favorite. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have my late night Korean soup now. Those appetizers were delicious. Oh my gosh. I think I said this already, but the soup also is great because there's so much collagen from the bones, especially as it sits. It's so good for the hair, the skin, the nails, all the things, and just taste bomb. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go rest a little bit. I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hello guys, it is the next, next day. Sorry, let me get all situated on my crisscross chair. Hello, so updates. Okay, while we're getting ready, I'm gonna put my ring in this little jewelry cleaner. If you guys have not seen this, I talked about it before, it's amazing. This is the only thing that I've used to clean my engagement ring since we got engaged and it's fantastic. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's the fine jewelry cleaner. Basically, it's just like a little container with some blue liquid on the inside, if you can see. See, I will say she gets a little messy, but it's really good. I just put it in here. I let it sit for 30 minutes. It has like a little brush and I'll brush off any of the extra dirt and stuff that's in there and it makes it look so shiny and clean and it's really nice to just like put to the side, let it take care of it. Oh my God, I thought it said gluten-free and I was like, why does it say gluten-free? It's quality tested. <laughs> I'm drinking my latte out of this cup that says proud parent of a mall she that is sometimes an asshole and that's okay. I've got two of them and they both can be assholes definitely at times. I did an almond milk latte with cinnamon, honey and sugar-free vanilla. 
Oh, it's so good. Okay, so good morning. Let me catch you guys up on what's been going on. First off, I cleaned out my entire closet. There is a pile of clothes behind me because these are all pants that I need to get tailored to fit my short legs very soon. So that pile's there. I also have a pile of clothes that went to donation. And then I also have a pile of clothes that I will be selling on probably Poshmark. But with my recent weight loss, a lot of the stuff doesn't fit anymore. So if you guys are a size 14, there's gonna be tons of good stuff on there for you guys. Feel free to check it out. I'll link it down below again. But yes, I cleaned out the whole closet. I feel so good. Really happy about that. And then yesterday, I just had a really long work day. I had just like a computer day. I was at the computer all day. Caught up on a lot of computer work that I've been needing to do. And then Murph came over last night. We just hung out and talked and just had like a little, a little night to ourselves. We talked for like six hours. We're like, oh my God, where did the time go? Today is a pretty basic day and I am going to do full glam on myself right now for pretty basic. I haven't done a full glam look on myself in so long. Lashes, contour, highlighting, the whole thing. But I'll be getting dolled up and I will be doing my own makeup. So I thought I could share with you guys that journey. We'll see if I'm a little rusty, but I just started with my Ilia Face Base Milk and I am about to just go through and do the whole whole thing. Daisy's back. Yay, Daisy. Say good morning vlog. Hi, everybody. Guess who's getting a haircut today because we are very overgrown. Yay. Oh, okay. Goodbye. On that note, let's uh, speed through this makeup. I'm watching some Kim Tai vlogs over here. Catch it up, I'm seeing her soon. So I was like, I need to get caught up on everything so I know what's going on in her life. All right, let's speed through this. Okay guys, I finished my hair and, okay, makeup first. I think it looks pretty damn good. I have to say, I love the lip combo that I did. I did just drink a little energy drink, so I think it has worn off a bit, but I'll share my little lip trio that I did. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Liner in Iced Latte. Oh yeah, she's worn off quite a bit. Liner in Iced Latte. Lipstick in Erin from Makeup by Mario, this little like baby one. It's like a really pretty pinky nude. I love that. And then lip gloss. Actually, I used this one, but I didn't love it on. This was the Patrick Ta Major Volume Plumping Gloss. Plumping and superficial. It's pretty. I just think like maybe on this combo, I'm going to do this one instead. This is Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate. A little baby one. I think we need like a little, maybe just like in the center. Okay, I love that one so much more. So pretty. I feel like my skin looks really nice and shiny. I got a little dandruff going on, don't mind that. Like my forehead looks glassy. If you want a full tutorial, let me know. Hair, I just did a little half up, half down ponytail, which I've been doing a lot because I like having my hair back and it's getting so long. Like look how long it is even with the curls in. I did my one and a half, my new curling iron that I got from Ulta with Kaylee. I love this barrel size on my hair. I think it's so pretty and wavy. And then for my outfit, I'm giving, oh my God. I'm giving newscaster Barbie, but I think it's so cute. I have to give a shout out to Marianna Hewitt because this came from her collection that she just did on Revolve. As I told you guys recently, she is like one of my style inspos. I love what she wears. And I really, as I get older, I am trying to elevate my style a little bit more and just look a little bit more put together. And this little outfit is so cute and I've yet to wear it. I was gonna wear it for the PXU shoot, but then it kind of like wasn't the vibe. So here she is. It is a little vest with a little matching skirt. I don't know how I feel about a skirt. I keep saying that. I love a skirt. Something about the shorts in the back, I feel like it just doesn't look good on 
on me, but I love it from the front. And then to take the look to the next level, which I do need to pack my outfit number two for this episode, I'm thinking maybe I'll wear something more casual for episode number two. I got these little frilly socks from Amazon. I'll link them down below. Let's try them on. I don't know if I'm gonna love them. So let's see together, shall we? A little frilly sock moment, maybe a little bunchy up. At the, at the feet, there we go, can you see that? Oh, you can not see, hold on. All my other girlies with short legs, you know sometimes if you pick the wrong sock, it can really look bad. And then I'm gonna wear one of my birthday gifts from my parents. Thank you so much to my parents for this beautiful gift that I feel is going to take this look to the next level. So I need to do my what I got for my birthday video still. I know we're like a month late, but I did just post my vlog today asking if you guys wanted to see that. And a lot of people said yes. So that will be coming very soon, if not in this vlog, the next next vlog. For one of my birthday gifts, my parents got me these stunning Hermes loafers. I don't know what they're called. Oh, there's like no name. I don't know what they're called, but they're a really beautiful loafer and they are so cute. Take this like protective film off, even though I actually kind of like don't want to because I don't want anything to happen to them. I do think this will take my look to the next level. I'm being so careful. Like I'm playing operation right now. I think this will take the look to the next level. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I don't know if I like the sock. I might have to change the sock. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. The only thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna be comfy sitting at the studio with uh, my little skirt and these shoes on, and I definitely need to break these shoes in. Ooh, they are not comfy. That is for sure, not yet. How cute is that? I feel like I'm literally wearing like a little Barbie shoe. Not super comfortable on the feet. Okay, socks, I think look horrible. Let me go look in a mirror. Is this look just not meant for me? I can't decide. Maybe this is not the life for me. I feel like I look like a little kid. <laughs> I mean, do I just rock it? Is this cute? Oh, and I'm sitting with my legs crossed. I do think you need the socks, right? Cause like without the socks, I feel like, let me try without a little frilly sock. Just raw dog it. Oh, maybe I like it without the sock. Oh, I'm gonna get blisters. Brooke, are you here? I have a question for you. Brooke has voted with the sock, everybody. It's honestly way more comfortable with the sock too. Jeez, it might be cute, but it's not comfortable. I need to just rock it. I need confidence, that's the thing. Like I'm trying to look woman and I feel like I look six years old. To finish the womanly look, <laughs> I'm gonna put on another gift that my parents got me, which is Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, I'm sure a lot of us have seen this very bougie fragrance. Oh wow, it's really nice. Mm, I have to use her very sparingly. I have to say, a lot of people say that this one from Ariana Grande smells very similarly and I am gonna be so honest. This smells I think the same if not a little Sorry, mom and dad. Thanks again, love you. That's the look for episode one. I need to pack my look for episode two. And then I also need to pack some lunch up and head out the door and I'll see you guys there. <laughs> I was FaceTiming my mom to show her the final look and I had to film it. Okay, are you ready, girl? Yes, I'm girl. Got my glasses. I can see. She can see. Oh, Mammy, so cute. I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. Thanks what for the shoes, you? girl. Oh, you're welcome. And I wore my perfume. Oh, you are? I did, yeah. I feel like a newscaster. Uh, no, not really. It's too cute to be a newscaster. Uh, now you're coming for the newscasters. Okay, episode one is filmed. Now we're gonna do episode two. I just changed into my next outfit. It's this really cute little set with the top that's like off the shoulder and then the matching skirt. It's so comfortable. This is also from the same Mariana collection on Marval. I have these little gold earrings from Amazon and same makeup, same hair. That's the look. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, I am back home from a long day at the studio. Having some leftover pizza for dinner tonight. This came from Goop Kitchen, which is Gwyneth Paltrow's restaurant out here. I did barbecue chicken pizza and the pizza was huge. Oh, oh my God, it's so hot. It's gluten-free and tastes so good. I'm home, I took a body shower because I'm working out tomorrow morning, so didn't want to wash my actual hair. And for the first night in a while, I have the night to myself. It's only 8 p.m. I have no work to do. I'm all caught up on work, all caught up on editing. I think I'm just gonna chill. I wish Love is Blind was out tonight, but it's not out till tomorrow. <sighs> I'm bummed about that, but all is well. I'm gonna enjoy my pizza and relax a little bit. It doesn't look great, but it tastes great. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!